This is a new game we invented, so be prepared to not really know what you're watching. Two hitters hit at the same time. They score runs by running to the other side of the floor. If the ball hits the back wall, that's automatically four runs. If the ball hits the back wall above the home run shelf, that's automatically six runs. They also get a run every time the pitcher throws a bad ball. Dan Rourke tried to cheat again, everybody. <laughs> hey, do you want to come up here and look at the video, the replay center? Welcome to the beautiful John Boy Media Warehouse in Jersey City, New Jersey, as we continue on with the ball in play tournament, the melding of blitz ball with cricket. I am Chris Rose, joined by the legendary cricket ball player out of the West Indies, Darren Sammy. And Darren, this is a huge matchup between happy to be here and Team Water Jug. Winner will advance to take on Team Splat Elite in the championship match. Now, we've already seen these two teams go at it. Team Happy to be here, won by 11 runs. They seem to have things going as both strikers and bowlers so far. Yes, the, uh, offensively and defensively, they seem to have the strategy right. They forced the batters to hit the ball to the side of the wall so they could get um, the ricochet catches. And normally, we've seen so many catches by the wicket keeper. Uh, was it uh, Rob? Yeah, we've R seen that. Rob was in action behind there. And today, it doesn't matter because it's do or die. Whoever wins gets a place in the final. So I'm excited to see what they have in store. Yeah, we'll see, especially with Team Water Jug, which has yet to kind of come together as a cohesive unit. They have yet to get that victory. But what happened in the initial round robin part of this tournament does not matter. If they get just one win today, they are off to the championship bout. Let's see how it goes. All right, since happy to be here, took care of Team Water Jug, and uh, their record is one and one. They get to choose whether or not they would like to be on the, in the field or striking first. So, Paxton, take it away. All right, Rohan, what are you going to pick? I'm going to strike first today. Okay, there you have it, guys. They're going to strike first. We've got defense on this side. Let's see what happens. All right, huge game. Winner takes all, or at least gets a chance to move on to the championship match where they will face Splat Elite. What do you think of the choice to strike first? Well, it seems like they want to put the, the, the runs on the board first to put the pressure on the water jugs. What would you have done if you were captain? Would you have liked to have maybe been out there in the field and if you hold them to a, no, a low number, then you can kind of feel good about where you were? Yes, I, I love to chase. So, you love to chase? Yes, so I would definitely put and, them in, restrict them to a low total, yeah, and then try to put added runs on whatever they scored and then when they're batting in the second inning the pressure is all on them well we'll see what happens and for team water jug we're gonna have lennon it looks like be the first bowler and he has been the economy leader think of this as like an era in the baseball world he has allowed 8.75 runs per over allowed which is a very good number especially in this format so lennon to face rohan and we are underway. Oh, now, once again, that is a bad ball if you're joining us for the first time because it did not hit the strike zone at all. So even though it was a swing and a miss, it counts as a run for Team Happy to be here. And there is another missed opportunity for Lennon. Yeah, Lennon didn't warm up today. He's using these two pitches as, as a warm-up ball. Let's go. Ah, that away. It's nice when you have one of the legendary cricket players of all time giving you a thumbs up. There's the show. Oh, oh, no. What is this? Is that a four or, or a six? six? It was on the line. It's on the line, so it's a six. We're going to have to take another look at it on replay. It Damn. hits the line. Yeah. Wow, right out of the gate, Ron with a six. Impressive. And so now they have put on eight runs on the board with only one good pitch. Nice job. So once again, if you are new to this sport, the combination of blitz ball and cricket, you do not have to run. It's very, very different than baseball. There are no force outs. So that was very good for the defense. That 
is a dot ball because that one did hit the strike zone with a swing and a miss. And you could see the different strategy to the yesterday. I saw all the batters batting inside of the box. Now they're giving their pitcher some space so they could swing the arm oh, like this. That is nice. That is a four-run boundary ball as it ricochets off of the back wall. Really, really good effort to try and stop it, but couldn't do it in time. So another four runs tacked on the board for Team Happy to be here. Looked like they took my advice from yesterday. Four good pitchers, pitches by Lennon in the six pitch over. That ball ricocheted and caught, and we have it out and almost. You could cannot they, have a double play here. You can't have a double play. No <laughs> double plays, so there's no. <laughs> you know, you'd figure I'm out four games into this thing, I'd figure that one out, but that's where my baseball tutelage comes in. Thanks for keeping me straight, Darren. Yes, uh, but you could see, in order to get the, the, to be safe from getting out, you got to hit the ball straight. Yes. Rohan will have to sit out the rest of this inning. We have a new batter, or striker, as we like to call in cricket. It is BBD. And that is, oh, no! <laughs> that is dropped. No damage, but they avoid getting an out. Ouch, as Abby and Dan ran right into one another. Poor communication there. Look in, at that. out, oh. in, out again. Now, in, in baseball, when you have outfielders that are coming together for the same ball, you, you yell, I got it, I got it. You, same as cricket, you have to shout, mine. Yeah. No communication. Hey, why didn't you, why didn't you call, I got it, Dan? It is baseball. There's baseball, <laughs> it's blitz ball, it's cricket, it's a combination. <laughs> Let's go. Everybody together. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Paxton. You're welcome. Thanks for playing along. You. So because that was the sixth pitch, that over is over. Bill is the new bowler. And now we've got Lucas at the dish. That is a bad ball and another run. Moves the score up to 13. Lucas top five in strike rate leaders. That means runs per ball times 100. He's got at 165. That's a good number? That's a good number, but I think it's Jake who's leading. Yes, Jake's leading. Luke strike. is five. He's at five. That I, ball. Oh, oh, good job by Dan to just knock it down. <laughs> what? I guess it's any part of the body. I thought it hit his head. Oh, it well, did, in fact, hit his face. Did it? Did it? Let's take another look at that. <laughs> now the good news is he's really ugly so it's not going to do any further damage to that dome i mean yeah it's good it's is, good he is, used that little melon is the ball okay yeah he looks like he should have been growing up in the 80s with that hairstyle he needs to look hard to believe he's, he's just 22 years old all right so here we go nice job dan well he saved three runs for his team what do you use that rock head of yours luke's still up and that is a bad ball. So once again, a bad ball, not only does it give the striking team a run, it also does not count as a pitch, as one of the 18. Ooh, and even though that's a swing and a miss, it's still a bad ball because it did not hit the strike zone. It's another run. Yeah, so that, that black box you see there, that square, mm -hmm. the pitcher has to bowl the ball in that zone. Oh, oh what a stop again! Wow, Dan Rourke using every muscle and body part available to him. Look at this as he goes to his right. Look at that. Brilliant piece of field in there by Dan. Dan, way to go. That's good work. Prevents a run from scoring, and maybe several. Another bad ball by Bill. You could see both teams are up for it. Winner goes to the finals. Ball chopped. Oh, the runners are running. Oh, look at Dan. What is he doing now? Now it's a little battle ball. As Team Happy to be here secures another run. But nice job to prevent it from getting out of the boundary. So now 18 runs with nine good pitches left. BBD. That's a bad pitch again. Yeah. 
And remember, if a bad pitch gets away from the wicket keeper, which Lennon is playing, essentially the catching position in baseball, you can run for an additional run. There's another bad ball. Another bad ball, so Bill's just got to start to dial it in as the bowler. And yeah. this is where maybe a visit from a pitching coach in baseball would come out to settle him down. Do you have that sort of thing in cricket where a coach can come out and talk to the bowler? Only if there's a timeout. Oh, only if there's a timeout. Yeah, but we, we or a drinks break, or maybe you could do it smartly. Somebody goes to the boundary and the coach comes around and maybe pass on the information. Got it. Yeah. All right, well, Bill got... Uh, Back in the strike zone there. And BBD just harmlessly grounded out one. No damage done. Oh, that ball's off the roof. Are they going to run? They are not. So that is a dot ball if you're scoring at home. Nice job by Bill, who has one more good pitch left in his over. So far, 21 runs for Team Happy to be here. Bill rubbing that thing down. Checking for spider tack. That ball. Oh! on the ground. That's perfect. Crick ball, if you will, in this ball and play tournament. That is a four run boundary. Nice job by BBD. His team now has 25 runs through the first two overs. And Paxton down there with one of the defensive stalwarts of the game so far. So we started off that defensive. Uh inning for you not so great you didn't call the ball but then we had back-to-back -back incredible defensive plays what's going through your mind yeah you know I think my new approach is like you know on a ground ball you don't exactly have to catch it as long as you block it down you know in some way shape or form it's kind of a W so that's my mindset going forward so are you frequently going to use your head to stop balls <laughs> yeah you know I always say to use your head and that's what I'm trying to do more and more as you know I get older so yeah, I think so. Taking it literally back to hey, you guys in the booth. Well, Paxton, before he goes, hold on, hold on one second. Uh, you might get hazard pay for this, but you want to check that head of his. Are there any dents? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. more worried Maybe about right the ball. Yeah. I hardly even felt it. I hardly even felt it. He's good, guys. He's good. <laughs> he said he's, you're more worried about the ball. <laughs> you only known Dan two days, and you got him down bad. All right, so back to the game we play here. Happy to be here with 25 runs so far through the first two overs. There's one more over left. Bad ball. Does not get away from the wicket keeper, Bill. Another bad ball there, Chris. Does that happen to a lot of cricket players where they kind of lose their feel yes. in the strike zone? Yes, especially if the ball is swinging too much. They, they cannot control it. That ball is in play, and they're going to run. Just one run across. But one good ball thrown now by Dan. So when it's what you call a bad ball, we say a wide or no ball, mm -hmm. depending on where it passes the batter. So that would be a no ball. And the next ball would be a free hit. Got it. Yeah. So here we just call it a good ball, bad ball. And that one hits BBD. Now the question is, if you're crowding the strike zone, would that ball have hit the strike zone? And the answer is no. So that is a bad ball and another run. Ball back to Dan. Nice play. That is a dot ball. No advancement. No run scored. Once again, back to Dan. Cat-like reflexes. Yes. He's doing really well for his team. So far. BBD continues to be the striker. That ball in play. They are running. Bill kicking it around a little bit. There's one run. Oh, and look at this. Luke was a little upset at BBD. He wanted uh, BBD perhaps to keep running back and forth. He thought it was the last ball. But there are two legal pitches good, left. Yep, good pitches left in this over and in this inning. That ball hammered and it hits the back wall 
after the ricochet off the ceiling. A four-run boundary ball. Exactly what Tim happy to be here needed. Good finish. One legal delivery left. Can he dispatch it to the boundary? Yes! Wow! ball from Luke O'Brien gives them 41 in the first <laughs> inning and that is a way to nurse an injured hammy to make sure you don't have to run to finish it off look at that shot I gotta, look at you you just disappeared behind the warehouse game so, come on man you were facing 95 mile an hour cricket balls you scared of that thing I'm just ducking for cover. <laughs> come look, on. I just like the bad drop from Yo, from Luke from Luke yeah, over that's there. impressive all right, let's send it down to Paxton, who's with the guy who finished off that frame in style. Incredible ending offensively. Going into defense, what's your strategy? Uh, I think just play him tight. Um, I'm not too worried about outs. I think we're worried about pitching today. We don't want to throw too many wides. We don't want to give them runs. So we're just going to make them make the mistakes for us this time. Okay, How's love Chris to hear doing? Did that ball get any of them up there? Well, you almost killed Darren Sammy. Sorry about so that. So we're going to have a really big international incident with the <laughs> West Indies Cricket Association. They're going to be angry. Yeah, I mean, you, listen, this guy's got, like, statues and stadiums named yeah. after him. Okay? It wasn't okay? meant for him. Yeah. Huh? It wasn't meant for him. It wasn't meant for him. Yeah, there's okay. plenty of people that it you could have taken It wasn't meant for him, but here. someone up there, he was aiming towards. Okay. So, best of luck. Do you, next, next time I should just catch it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. Do you, yeah. you want to put your helmet on? you have yeah. your own helmet still? Do you travel with your own helmet? No. no. I don't wear helmets anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we move to the bottom of the first as Team Water Jug will have to rebound. They are down by 41 runs. Now, for people that are new to this game, that's it. 41 runs. How would you feel if you were coming into the bat? Is there, is there a number in mind that you want to try and get it to? Yes. Uh, first of all, you must at least tie or overcome that score of 41. But... Because of the last two deliveries that went for, for boundaries, they could not restrict them to three. 41 in three overs is still possible in today's game. Yeah. But, but they'll they be feeling good, good if, if they get in the 30s in yes. this frame. They'll be feeling fine. Yeah. Okay. And so here we go. Abi Bolasetti, high schooler out of North Carolina. He's going to be attending the University of North Carolina come the fall. He'll be the first one striking. Dan will be running. And there's a bad ball as Luke was going with the big bender there. There is a 45 mile an hour speed limit. Any ball over that is a redo. And that ball, that is a four run boundary to get him off started in a nice way. Yep, so far Luke has been given 11 runs and over. Uh, He's already given up five in just one good ball. Yep. Ball tapped, they are going to run, and they do get another run. But now for the first time, we will see Dan Rourke as a striker. Outstanding defense played by the young man in the top of this frame, using his head, using his hand, using his shoulder, using everything. Well, just about everything. Ooh. Oh, that is a dot ball as it hits the strike zone. Once again, very, there's almost no penalty to swinging. No penalty. I know Absolutely. it drives you nuts when yeah, you guys don't Yeah, I don't swing. know why they don't swing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ball play, and now. Because once again, that's a foul ball in baseball. That is a ball in play. So that is a good pitch and a great job by the defense. Rob Scirocco as the wicket. Oh, swing and a miss. Uh, Dan kind of jammed on that bendy ball. What do you think of his swing? Ah, it's just, I love the way that Luke is just getting the ball to, uh -huh. to swing All right. from the right to the left. One more good pitch left in this over. Jammed. Oh, no, they're running. Oh, they missed on an out opportunity. <laughs> Unbelievable. All Luke had to do was hit the strike zone with that throw, and they would have gotten an out and prevented a run. And wow. And they would have gotten the dangerous Abby who was striking at 335. Take a look at this. 
Once again, now we have seen this earlier in the tournament where Dan has tried to interfere with the pass. <laughs> what is he doing? What? This is the third time he has had quite... Now, isn't this a gentlemanly sport? It's supposed out. to be. Out. He would be out in our game. He's obstructing the field. Now, who makes that call? The umpire or the captain appeals. Maybe well, they didn't see it while the play was well, happening. We have the replay now. Let, we'll have to ask the umpire. Did anybody appeal <laughs> on happy to be here on that play? Was there an appeal made? There was not an appeal made. We're just going to let you know. Dan Rourke tried to cheat again, everybody. <laughs> hey, do you want to come up here and look at the video, the replay center? Hold on one second. We, we can't hear you, Paxton. What do we got? I did not try any, like, that wasn't even me doing gamesmanship or nothing. That was just pure accident, whatever happened. I couldn't even tell you what happened because I have no idea. I was running. I hesitated because it was a dumbass move for me to try to run there because I hit it right to him. I got a little jump, you know, heavy there. Yeah. But I didn't try to interfere with nothing. All we're going to tell you is this. You were running, and Luke tell is... Tell them to get out of my baseline. Luke is on the left. You reach over with the bat from the right side and tried to interfere. We're just... I'm I didn't try to hit nothing. If anything, he tried to scare him away, but no. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go back to bat, Aaron Judge, to that. fanboy. Dan it's, is lucky that the captain of Happy be to be to be here is just right. a good spot. Well, they have to make an appeal, and I think the appeal would have stood, and there would have been an out made. Yep. As it is, we have a new bowler. It is Rob Scirocco, who's been outstanding on the mound. In fact, he is the wicket leader, meaning he has gotten the most outs while bowling with four in this tournament so far. Dan still a, as the striker. Ball popped in the air. Look at this. Nobody can get it in another run for Team Water Jug. There's a bad ball. They need a few of those. I like the form of Abby. He's very stable at the crease. Just waiting, keeping his eyes on the pitcher. That ball's in play. Oh. This is, hold on. Now this is this is the one area of our uh, beautiful warehouse that is out of play, and so we need a ruling on that. One run. That is a. Is that one run? One run. It technically went behind foul. the. This is technically the only foul area. One run. So. Umpire says one run. All right, so here comes the cheater back up as the striker. <laughs> oh, Rob taking it to him. That is a bad ball and another run. And once again, bad balls do not count as one of the 18 good pitches. So that's an easy way to score a run. Rob has been outstanding this tournament. Arguably the best two-way player we've seen. That ball in play. Oh, oh. And a catch! A fantastic <laughs> catch there by Rohan getting an out. And so Dan is done for this inning as a striker. He will sit down. And now Bill will join the fray for Team Water Jug. Look at that fantastic play off the ricochet, Darren. Yes, um, kept his eyes all the way in on the ball. We continue on 11 runs for Team Water Jug as Rob is now in the middle of being the bowler in this over. Ball smashed Rob. Oh, he almost had a chance to get Abby out, which would have been huge. Great fielding of his own bowling. Bill needs to do something for his team here. Yeah. Needs to get maybe a four run boundary, something. Ball jammed and oh, another remarkable catch by Ron! Wow! Once again, doing the business for his team. Unbelievable. Second time this inning, the ball gets hit backward. And look at the extension. Look at that. Both feet off the ground. That is commitment. They want to get a place in the finals. All right, Lennon is the new batter for Team Water Jug as there are two outs recorded. And again, Roy in the action. That ball hit up at the... Oh, I thought, 
I thought Rohan was going to make a third out that inning. Or wicket, as you like to call. And that brings us to the end of the over. Rob, Rob yeah, an outstanding job that getting is. Getting two more wickets, adding his tally to six. All right, so the new bowler and the last one in this bottom of the first will be BBD. Lennon will be the runner, and Abby will now be the striker, and he has got to get it going. He's got to get some fours and some sixes to get his team back in this game as they have put up just 11 runs so far. Oh! oh! Rob nearly with a snag off the wall as the wicket keeper. Look at the... Unbelievable. That would have been unreal if all three outs had been on balls that had gone backward. Ball smashed, and there is a four-run boundary. Good job by Abby. Outstanding effort by BBD. Though. And in cricket, that's the safest place to hit the ball, straight down the ground. That's what we see. Normally, there's not a fielder down there behind the bowler. Ball smashed, and nice stop by Luke, and the runners did not advance, so no run, but another good pitch by BBD. All three bowlers, very impressive for Team Happy to be here this frame. There's a bad ball and another run. As you can see, Abby is exposing the entire box so that the ball could come in his swing. Oh, just missed. By the way, if the ball lands in that center cutout, that circular cutout, that is an automatic out. It would end the frame. We've seen a few of those this tournament. Super exciting. Whoa! How about a little buggy whip for a four-run boundary? Woo! He's got some serious strike speed, doesn't he? He does. Defensively, I don't think Luke even moved, no. truthfully. Oh! What was that? That is a dot ball. Again, he's been swinging. Yeah. Well, there's one more good pitch left in this inning. Whoa! Hey now! <laughs> there's another six-run boundary. What a great finish by Abby to get his team within 14 runs. Look at both of us. Hey, at least you didn't duck behind the sign that time, Darren Sammy. That away. You were ducking as well. Yes, I was. But at least I kind of stayed up. But that's only because I'm not quick enough to move down. We got to talk about how you just ended that uh, offensive stretch. Truthfully, you guys started off pretty slow, but, you know, you came back mm -hmm. and you honestly just tried to kill the people up in the booth. How are you feeling after that? Nothing. Just trying to give my team a chance here. You know, I mean, we're still down by 14, so it's still a little bit away, but we pitched good this innings, and hopefully, you know, we look forward to catching up in the next time we bat. So I was trying to give my team a chance, honestly. Defensive strategy going into this? I think we're just going to look at who's pitching, and I think our speeds were a little bit down the last time, so we tried to get them up this time and, you know, hit the zone more often than not. Get three outs as soon as possible, obviously, and try to just limit the amount of runs we're going to end up chasing. Best of luck. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. We are in the top of the second. Rob Scirocco, your striker, and you'll notice that the bat has changed. Uh, teams in the second inning have the option of using the big old, like, wiffle ball, six-year-old base uh, birthday party bat. Oh, and it does the damage as he delivers a four-run boundary. You can already see the difference in the uh, surface area of that bat. Look at that thing. Bill is the bowler. Swing and a miss, but doesn't matter because it counts as a bad ball and a run for Happy to be here. Can't they, allow free they're runs. They're already down 14. Ball smashed. Good job by Bill. That's a dot ball. They need plenty of those. Yeah, they really need to keep it probably somewhere under 55, 60, I would say, in order to have a legitimate shot. Once again, that's a bad ball. So that even though it was a swing and a miss by Rob, it plates a run for Team Happy to be here. Yeah, Rob is just swinging at everything. Which is smart. It's a smart, smart cricket. 
That ball. Nice job. That's another dot ball. No advancement by the runners. Oh, nice. That is a dot ball. Oh. What? Now, that, that, that was just a little mistake, I think. That, that wouldn't happen in cricket, right? Yeah, if the ball is, uh, if you hit the ball and uh, it's going to ricochet onto the stump, you could use the bat to oh. avoid that. Interesting, okay. There's another bad ball. Something you guys should keep an eye on is actually back here. We have Rob and we have Lennon. If you remember yesterday, the tensions were rather high oh. between them. Yeah, good call. That ball's in play. And another run. Yeah, there was definitely uh, some interesting stuff that happened and in that the previous just, game between these two. That just caught Rob on fire. Keep the so now lines. Rohan is the striker. And a oh, nice play by Dan. Stop. A fantastic job by Dan Rourke to stop it. They did tack on another run. Did team happy to be here, but... Rourke saved three additional he's runs. Been, he's been absolutely brilliant at this position. Oh, look at that. And so now it's up to one of the best pitchers in this tournament, Lennon. Uh, I can only wonder what the hell's on that ball, the way he's trying to clean it. Rohan Fodke, the interesting striker stance. And nice job. Nothing that Dan could do on that one. That is a four-ball boundary. Ricocheted perfectly in the corner. Fantastic effort by Rourke and couldn't prevent another four runs. And, oh, oh no, that one squeaks past Rourke and it's another four runs. Boy, with all the fantastic plays that Dan has made so far in this game, that one was probably the easiest to just kind of squeak past him. Uh, he's human. He is human. Expected him to stop that. He's given us all these moments of brilliance, but not on this occasion. So, 58 runs for Happy to be here as Rohan continues to strike. That ball in play. Ricochets off the ceiling and just one run. And you can see Abi, the team captain for Team Water Jug, encouraging his guys, saying, hey, that's perfect. We'll take it. One run for one good pitch. That's a trade-off they'll make. Oh, that is a dot ball and a good pitch. That's great location by Lennon. Yes, absolutely amazing. Ball smashed oh, off of Lennon's right foot. And that may have prevented an additional three runs from scoring because that was headed toward the back wall. It was. You see, as you look, yeah, look at this, right off the old right shin. <laughs> hey, that's why you want to finish in an athletic position. That is one thing that cricket and blitzball have in common. Be a good fielder after you're done being a bowler. Outstanding work by Lennon. Don't know how his shin is, but you wear shin guards? Yes, we do. Okay. Bad ball. Score moves on to 61. Remember... Happy to be here. He's already leading by 14 runs. Coming into this frame. Yes. They've tacked down another 20 so far here. That ball smashed and nothing Rourke could do about that. It's another four-run boundary by Rohan. Rohan Fodke will join Abi Bolasetti at the University of North Carolina at the fall, in the fall. So, we have so we, yeah, we have a new bowler now. It is Dan Rourke. Trying to keep his team in this thing. They are down 65 to 27 as we speak. But as you can see with that big bat and the possibility of four run, six run shots. Oh, nice job by Bill catching that one off the ceiling, saving a run and recording an out. So Rob Scirocco will have a seat. He will be replaced by Luke O'Brien. Oh, bad ball by Rourke. 
That was truly a wide. Yeah. But in cricket, it would be like a good ball, you know. You hit it on in the pitch. That's what you do in cricket. You don't bowl full tosses. Really? No, full tosses. If it's above the wayside, it would be considered as a Whoa. ball. As he smashes this one down the ground for four runs. That one hit off of Rourke as well. So, team happy to be here taking aim at the bowlers of Team Water Jug. That ball smashed and Lennon was like, ah, I like my fingers the way they are. Let's see that again. Lennon wanted nothing to do with it. I get it. Watch his left hand. <laughs> hey, I have the same reaction up here, so... <laughs> These are going to make great action cards when we yeah. come out. Everybody's going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Another bad ball. It's Team Water Jug. Now down 76 to 27. Oh. Digging a deeper and deeper hole. Ball smashed, and it's another four runs. Boy, that would you like to hit with that big old bat? I would love to. Yeah. I want to see you take some cuts down here before yeah. we're done. Oh, oh, man down, man down. Somebody check on Abby man after down. that one. <laughs> that was hit with some power. This had the water jugs stuck in for cover. Wow. So here we go, one more good ball left in the over and the inning. Wow, there's a possibility that we're going to see a 90-run outburst. We've not seen this so far in the tournament. That ball hit off the ceiling, and it's going to be... Whoa, oh no, wait. what sort of mistake is Dan doing? Oh, look, they're trying it again. Oh, gosh. What's happening? A remarkable run. Unreal. <laughs> Incredible aggressiveness out of Team Happy to be here as they got not one, not two, but three runs on that final play. What happened, Derek? Oh, nobody wanted to hit the stamps. All they had to do is just throw the ball to the bowler, and it would be dead. Look at Lennon. Lennon's pointing over here. Bill's running over there. Ball's bouncing off of Abby. We have complete chaos at the warehouse in Jersey City, people. So, as we head now to the bottom of the second, time right now to check in with Paxton, who's with BBD. BBD, excellent strategy by Happy to be here. Did you guys plan that, or was it just kind of spur of the moment energy? Yeah, we, we learned from our lesson yesterday, no more, no more running out. And uh, you know, we read our scouting reports. We knew how we wanted to attack each player. And, uh, and I think we executed our plan today. How are you guys going to bring this one home? Just get them out. There you have it. Get him out. Best of luck, guys. All right. Rob Scirocco will be the first bowler for Happy to be here. Swing for the heels. That's what Abby should be doing. Well, they got the right guy up. Striking, and there's a ball. Oh, oh, hey, hey now. Oh, no. I watch Rob. He's going to go up and shake it. Look, see? Nicest guy in the company. Although I don't know if he's trying to be the next Ralph Macchio in The Karate Kid. Did you ever watch that movie, The Karate yes, Kid? Yes, I did. did you One like of it? my favorite movies. Really? Wax on? Up. Wax yes. off? Yes. Oh! There's a four-run shot, and that's what Avi needed. He's a little disappointed because he felt like it was a good enough strike to be a six-run. But that ceiling got in the way. Another shot, are they gonna run? They are! But as you can see, BBD is telling his team, hey, that's perfect, that's a good ball in play and we only gave up one run, we'll take that math every, every day of the week. Every ball that doesn't go to a boundary, the red goes up. All right, now Lennon. That ball's in play and that's going to be a run. And it gets Abby back at the dish. Not to put too much pressure on Abby, but he is far and away the best striker on this squad. One of the best in the tournament so far. He 
needs some four and six run shots. And there's a six run! Very nice! Absolutely brilliant. Boy, that big bat coming in hand. Look at the swing. A lot of power. He just swung everything at it. Look at 50 the, runs needed now. Look at the hips just getting through there. Woo! You would think with my child birthing hips that I actually would have been good in this sport. I'd love to see you hit a few. No, I suck at this stuff. Remember, they need 21 runs per over. Oh, oh no! What a perfect what, pitch! What did I say? has really found it. A perfect delivery for his last good pitch in this over. High fives all around for Team Happy to be here as Scirocco's day is done as a bowler. And now they'll bring in Luke to face Lennon. Chasing 50 runs with 12 good pitches left. No outs recorded in this inning. Oh, Why are you not swinging? How many times must I say that, Chris? More. You, oh, you got to swing at the ball. Oh, they just lost a valuable, good pitch. That's a dot ball. All right, that ball put in play, and oh, it did hit the back wall, so that is a four-run boundary. Nice job by Lennon. Ball as he dots the strike zone. Darren, what do you think of a guy not striking? I would call, as captain, I would call him in. Retire hurt. Retire out. He's not following the game plan. Well, you can't pinch hit for him like you can oh, in baseball. Man. Sorry. Oh, that is a bad pitch. And a run. If you need to hit every ball for six, why are you not swinging? Tell me, Chris. Listen, I, I'm a very good math student. I understand. Oh, he wanted to. Now that ball hit the strike zone, but on the bounce. Now in cricket world, that would be great. That would be an amazing ball. Right? But here, we're playing it. Throw it through the air. Oh, wow. Just through the hands of Luke. And that is a four-run boundary ball. Look at this. Look. Right now, we would use a cliche in sports parlance that would say right through the wickets, but I don't mm. want to say that because no, it's, in this it, game, wicket means just about everything, so yeah. I can't throw it in as another term. Right through the hands. Drop catch. Good effort, though. Good effort. All right, so eight good balls left, down, chasing 40. Oh, well, hey, at least he swung. He did. All right, so Lennon is still up. We've got he, to start seeing some sixes here. He needs to finish with a boundary here, at yeah. least. Yep, it's a bad ball. Can you take that? Yep. So once again, a run for the team that is striking or hitting. And it doesn't count as a good pitch. Yep, that's a good idea. You're allowed to swing at that. So they've gotten two free runs, essentially. Yes. They need a few more of those. But you can see what Luke's trying to do. He's trying to get the ball down. He doesn't want to. Oh! oh! A six-run boundary ball by Lennon, who is flexing his muscles as he should be. Gets his team inching closer and puts Abby back as the striker. Paxton, why don't you check in with Abby before he swings? Offensive strategy going into these final six. I mean, six balls, 32, so we just got to get boundaries as many as we can. You know, I mean, there's ones and twos aren't going to do it, so we got to hit the back wall as much as possible. That's what we're looking at. Okay, they're going for the back wall. They're swinging for you guys, so duck. I ain't ducking. Maybe my partner's ducking. I ain't ducking. I'll try to catch just, it this time. Did you ever see the movie Happy Gilmore? Yes. Okay. Remember when Sandler's in there taking balls right off the chest, you know, when he's that would uh, be you? in the batting cage? That'd be like me, man. Okay. I'm, I'm Ooh, just gonna, that one really hurt. I'm just going to catch the balls now. <laughs> Rohan Fadki, the captain 
of Team Happy to be here will be the final bowler. Lennon will be the runner. Abby knows what he has to do. His team chasing 32. Oh, gosh. It looked like he decided to swing when it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> so that one cost him dearly. The ball smashed. Oh! It can be very close. We'll see if he knocked off the bales off the wicket in time. And uh, yes, he's he did. Lennon is going to be out. So he is done for the day. Darren, explain to the people at home what Lennon had to do in order to be safe on that play. He had to get his bat across the line. Before the bales before were knocked the off bales the Before the bales were dislodged. So Bill is now coming in. He will join the partnership with Abby as we continue on. And they are chasing 32 runs with just four good pitches left. And that ball's in play, and... It, did it hit the back wall? No, it did didn't. Not. A great job by BBD. Look at him. He is fired up. He knows that he can smell up earth in the championship game. Now it's up to Bill. That ball is smashed, and it's a six-run boundary. Nice job by Bill. As they are now chasing 25 with two good pitches left. And you're probably saying, well... It's done and dusted. Well, unless uh, Rohan starts misfiring at will. Uh, that ball's put in play. It's a run, but there's only one good pitch left. And chasing 24. Team happy to be here will be all smiles after one more good pitch is put in play. There it is. They don't care that they gave up a four-run boundary ball to finish it. That will do it. And congratulations to Team Happy to be here as they advance to the final where they will face off against Splat Elite. A great effort by Happy to be here as they are celebrating. They are moving on. But first, they get to chop it up with Paxton. Rohan, you are taking your team to the championship game. How are you guys feeling right now? Feeling thrilled, really, um, on top of the world. This is a great feeling, you know. This is what we came here to do, and now we're in the championship. So, you know, one more game, and we've got to get it done. Absolutely marvelous offensively. How are you going to keep that momentum going? So, you know, we're seeing the ball well right now, hitting it really well. So we just want to continue that momentum really well. Don't want to tinker with anything. Just keep hitting it really well. Aim for the big runs. I love that. Rest up, guys. Get ready for your championship game. Good luck. So team happy to be here with a 19-run win. They had it going. They were striking the ball. I mean, all four of the batters were simply fantastic in this one. Like you always say, cricket is a team game. And happy to be here, that's all they did. They played as a team with batting, bowling, and fielding, and they just outclassed what the jugs. They had no answer for them. And now they advance to take on Team Splat Elite, the only unbeaten team left in this tournament. Winner takes all, and we cannot wait to bring it to you. But you'll have to hold tight because that's coming your way next time. For my man Darren Sammy and for Paxton down there on the cement and our outstanding John Boy Media production team, I am Chris Rose. We'll see you next time here at the Ball in Play Tournament.